If you want to see characters transformed into someone else, you should definitely watch our picks for the best body swap movies. Fine. How do I get out of this? Wrong question. You should ask, how did I get into this? Fine. How did I get into this? Keep asking that question. I hope you figure it out. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. 13 going on 30. I like your shoes. Thanks. I like your dress. It's because they've got these incredible boobs to fill it out. <laughs> 13 going on 30 is a fantasy romantic comedy film directed by Gary Winnick and stars Jennifer Garner, Mark Ruffalo, Judy Greer, and Andy Serkis. Teenage life sucks, often enough to hate it, especially for young girl Jenna, who wishes to be an adult and live a grown-up life. But as she is actually transformed into one overnight, everything is in chaos. She learns that being 30 is hard too, and she must find a way to cope with being a 13-year-old in a woman's body. I know you're there! And my parents are totally gonna be home any minute! Ah! Hey, sweet bottom. Where's the commissioner? You're naked! Well, not yet. <laughs> Number 9. 17 again. Did you stop? staring at me it's freaking me out it's freaking me out i'm pubescent 17 again is a 2009 comedy film directed by burr steers and stars zach efron leslie mann thomas lennon michelle trachtenberg and matthew perry 37 year old mike o'donnell is unsatisfied with how his life ended up because of some of the choices he made when he was a teenager one small incident gives him a new chance, turning him into a 17-year-old high school student again. He decides to take this special opportunity to get the life he once wasn't able to live. Are you now, or have you ever been, a Norse god, vampire, or time-traveling cyborg? I've known you since, what, first grade? I think maybe I would have told you. Vampire wouldn't tell. Cyborg wouldn't know. Shut up. Number eight. Chances are... Does anything seem familiar? I beg your pardon. It's me, Louie. Chances Are is a romantic comedy film directed by Emile Ardolino and stars Sybil Shepard, Robert Downey Jr., Ryan O'Neill, and Mary Stuart Masterson. Chances are high that some things that shouldn't happen actually do. That includes a loving husband who is taken from his pregnant wife due to an accident. Reincarnated in a new body, he forgets his past life, but decades later, the woman he dates is seemingly his daughter he never met. What to do when the woman you love is the mother of the woman you love? My memory came back of my last life. What are you talking about? With you. I got my memory back and I realized that I was Louis. I am Louis. Number seven. Selfless. I'm gonna turn around, okay? Please try to relax. Take your finger off the trigger, okay? Is that you? Please take your finger off the trigger. Selfless is a science fiction action thriller film directed by Tarsem Singh and stars Ryan Reynolds, Natalie Martinez, Matthew Good, and Ben Kingsley. The idea of living for an eternity is all fun and games until you end up in the wrong body. As business mogul Damien Hale is dying of cancer, his last chance is to transfer his mind into a healthy body. But as he begins a new life as a young man, he encounters disturbing images of his shell's former past, and some will kill to keep those things a secret. How, How is this possible? Take, take, take a deep breath. How is this possible? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. Try to breathe. It's okay. It's okay. Just try to take a breath. It's, right. it's you. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. How is it possible? Number six. Possessor. Interface is active and word for power. This might be a bit of a rough jump. Just do it. As you wish. Possessor is a science fiction psychological horror film written and directed by Brandon Cronenberg and stars Andrea Riseborough, Christopher Abbott, Rossif Sutherland, Sean Bean, and Jennifer Jason Leigh. This ultra-stylized smorgasbord of guts, gore, and neon follows an agent who works for a secretive organization that uses brain implant technology to inhabit other people's bodies, driving them to commit assassinations for the benefit of the corporation. It's an unapologetically violent film that touches on social taboos about what should be done in movies. The real target, according to corporate, is through itself. 
Hmm? Because once we own Reed, we own the company. Number five. All of me. We have mutual control over our body. Our body. It's my body. I'm not sharing my body with anyone. Everybody's going to be real disappointed. <laughs> All of Me is a fantasy comedy film directed by Carl Reiner and stars Steve Martin and Lily Tomlin. In this classic comedy flick, the title's premise is taken ironically. When a woman lays on her deathbed, she tells her lawyer that she wishes to inhabit the body of a young and charming man. Instead, her soul lands in the lawyer, but is only able to control the right side of him. Now the two have to work together to live a normal life again, if that's even possible. My Miss Hoskins, you whore, you lascivious whore. No. Oh, yes. You're a, you're a shameless little slut. Yes. Shut up. Talk dirty. You're nothing but a cheap sex tramp. Good, good. Number four. Heaven can wait. I know more about getting to shape than anybody in the world. You understand me? So if you just hold up on that body. Hold everything... up on the body. Heaven Can Wait is a fantasy comedy film directed by Buck Henry and Warren Beatty, and stars him alongside Julie Christie and James Mason. For famous and talented quarterback of the Los Angeles Rams, Heaven Can Wait. After dying in a car accident, he learns that his guardian angel has granted him several years more on Earth without the ability to return to his own body. Now, having taken the form of a shady millionaire, he tries to return to the known, but falls for an environmental activist. Even when I was really trying to hate you, I couldn't help see something else. Something. What? In your eyes. Does that sound silly? When you see something like that, it doesn't matter what a person looks like or who they are or anything. Number three. Shazam. Freddy, I swear, it's me, okay? Look, I know we're not really close friends or anything, but you're the only person that I know that knows anything about this Cape Crusader stuff. It's Batman. Shazam is a 2019 superhero film directed by David F. Sandberg and stars Asher Engel, Zachary Levi, Mark Strong, and Jack Dylan Grazer. In this movie, an abandoned 14-year-old child named Billy Batson is searching for his lost mother while trying to settle into life with a new foster family. As always, Billy runs away to deal with his personal crisis. But this time, he runs into a wizard and finds unexpected superpowers, which he has to use against a gained enemy. Darla, it's me, it's Billy. I know I don't look like me. A wizard made me look Maybe like Maybe don't this. start with the wizard, it's just gonna make her more confused. Some old guy brought me to a temple and he made me say Shazam. Rosa! Number two. Big. Susan, I'm not married. You're not? No. I'm a child. What? Big is a fantasy comedy drama film directed by Penny Marshall and stars Tom Hanks, Elizabeth Perkins, and John Hurd. With a major refreshing twist to the body swap formula, Big finds a young boy transformed into a 30-year-old man, suddenly having the burden of being an adult. With the help of his best friend, Billy, Josh learns how to act like a grown-up. But as he gets a girlfriend and a fun job, he doesn't want to be a kid again. Will Josh stay big or become a 13-year-old boy again? I I'm 13 years old. Oh, and who isn't? You think that there isn't a frightened kid inside of me too? No, I mean, I really am 13. I, I went to bed so I went to bed one night and I was a kid and when I woke up the next morning, I was a grown-up. Oh, right. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. Your body won't last long. You're gonna be stuck in there for the rest of your life. You get me out of here, you son of a... Calm down, Mr. Brand. You're a cat. It's not the end of the world. I hate cats! That's what makes this so perfect. For Christ's sake, you know I never take drugs. That's right, you never do. Did. <sighs> Jesus Christ. It really is you, isn't it, Steve? Yes! Yeah! Hey, <laughs> from what I hear, I'm kind of an asshole. So I figure we're even. I was an asshole, y'all tried to kill me. Don't know what you're talking about. Come on, I know you tried to kill me. So let's just move on. Number one, being John Malkovich. Exactly what uh, type of service does this company provide? You get to be John Malkovich for 15 minutes. 
Being John Malkovich is a 1999 fantasy comedy film directed by Spike Jones and stars John Cusack, Cameron Diaz, and Katherine Keener, with John Malkovich as himself. Smart, funny, and highly original, the premise of this movie is as easy as it is brilliant. What if a normal guy with money problems accidentally entered the mind of a superstar? This is exactly what happens to Craig Schwartz, a file clerk of a large office building. But when things take unexpected turns, he soon finds himself on a wild trip through a star's psyche. Mr. Malcolm, sir, with all due respect, I discovered that portal. I mean, it's my livelihood, do you understand? It's yeah. my head, Schwartz! It's my head! Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.